Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wigging Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bobby Z. It's April, and it's actually April 20th, so it's almost the end of the month right now. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time since I posted a video. So I decided about six or seven months ago, really, someone's dying apparently because the sirens are going crazy. Are you done? As I mentioned in a previous video, there's a hospital a block north of me and there's a fire station directly across the street of me in the front. So I hear sirens a lot. I don't really know how to kind of counteract that. I probably could get a little mic, but anyway, I talk too much. I decided six or seven months ago when I first got my new HD camera to go back and re-record my most popular videos in HD just for better detail and um, I also talk so much in those videos. I am a very, very, very chatty person. I know this. I've been told it every day of my life. You'd think I'd try to work on it whatever. I'm starting now at the very beginning because that's a very good place to start. So today I'm going to talk about the shampoos and conditioners that I use when I wash wigs. So I actually keep all of my conditioners and shampoos and stuff for wigs in this little like handy dandy cart thing. It's basically for um, cleaning supplies to, and I'm going to go through like one by one and show you guys what all I have in here and what I use it for. So the first thing I have in here is like a wet brush and I only use this on human hair wigs. I don't like to brush synthetic hair out when it's like soaking wet in the bowl just because it tangles so much and I'd rather just do it with a, br a wire bristle brush later when I'm steaming it out or whatever. But for human hair oftentimes if the hair isn't in too bad of a shape, meaning if it doesn't tangle up or rat up on itself or if it's not super duper curly, I often will brush the conditioner through once I put that on. So that's what I use that for. I also have a little container here of baking soda. As you see, it says baking soda. Um, if you guys have not watched my washing wigs tutorial, you're probably wondering what the baking soda is for. Um, Baking soda is one of those things that you can use for like a bajillion different things. And with wigs, you can use it when you wash them to break down any hairspray buildup, product buildup, or even makeup on the lace or on the inside of the wig. Baking soda is great for that. I use it mainly just for synthetic wigs. Unless I absolutely have to use it with the human hair, I don't. Um, but that's just me. So now I'm going to talk about the shampoos that I have in here. So I have two of this a client of mine I told her to buy this for her real hair she didn't like the scent of it so she gave it to me um, and this is just the hydrating macadamia oil shampoo by organics I love this stuff for human hair wigs especially with their color treated because it doesn't have sulfates in it so it does suds up really really well but it doesn't have the sulfates that will kind of strip the color and everything out of a wig um, I do prefer to use moisturizing products on human hair just because when you think about it if the hair is actually growing out of your head the oil from your scalp and your skin kind of condition it on its own. So I like to use highly moisturizing stuff on human hair wigs and pieces just to kind of put some of that moisture back in there that it doesn't have because that's not connected to your head. I would try to consolidate these together but the shampoo is really 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 thick. It's like almost like gummy so to try to like conjoin them together is just n gonna not happen. And then I also have the Suave Naturals Daily Clarifying Shampoo. I use this uh, pretty much only on synthetic wigs because it is clarifying. It will strip everything out of the hair. So I do use this in conjunction with the baking soda to clean synthetic wigs quickly. Um, I do occasionally use this on human hair if, like I said, with the baking soda, if it has a really strong buildup of product or makeup or whatever, I will use this to clean them with. But for the most part, I stick to the moisturizing stuff with the human hair. Um, I really love this stuff. It's cheap. It's like a dollar a bottle or something like that. Um, and then if you have like the CVS or Rite Aid coupons, whatever, you can make it even cheaper. It's great. I love this stuff. I usually buy three or four bottles at a time when it's on sale and then I just kind of stock up. This stuff's great. I also have a really huge bottle of shimmer lights and this is the shampoo. I do do quite a fair amount of blonde human hair wigs for Willem so when I when he sends them back to me to get like a wash and a redo or if I'm just building something new for him from scratch I do like to use this to just kind of 
tone down the yellowness and everything. I haven't tried it on synthetic hair. I'm assuming that since human hair color and manic panic and stuff like that doesn't work on synthetic hair, I'm assuming that this wouldn't work on synthetic hair either. Um, but you're more than welcome to try. Don't sit here and tell me that I told you to use this on synthetic hair and it didn't do anything because I specifically told you I've never tried it before. So don't put words in my mouth because that's not cool. Then one last thing I have while we're talking about shampoos. This isn't really a shampoo, um, but it's the Diva Care No Poo. And um, this is by Diva Sean. And um, basically I bought this because I was looking for... Uh, when or hair one for a wig for a show and I went to Ricky's and they didn't have it So I just got this it's basically a cleansing conditioner. Uh, this is their color protection line I believe I bought this for a wig a human hair wig and a show I designed that was originally Blonde like 27 6 13 blonde and I dyed it to a two um, Just because they didn't have a full mono top Bob wig in a two so I bought that and just colored it and originally I washed it with shampoo and a whole bunch of the color ran out. So I re-dyed it for opening night and I bought this to wash it with in the future. And I'm really impressed with how this cleaned it. There's a lot of hairspray in the wig. This cleaned it very well, but the color remained the same because there's no suds, um, which I really like that. Um, this is also really great for curly hair wigs and extensions and stuff obviously because it's by Divashon, which is a curly hair salon and brand. Um, it's great for that, but I also, like I said, used it on a color-treated wig just because I didn't want to shampoo it and get the color out, and it was great. I really like it for that. Um, I have yet to use it on anything curly. Um, in the future, if I have any curly-haired wigs or anything like that that come my way, I will definitely be using this. Until then, I'm using it for stuff that's colored that I don't want to run. It's pretty great stuff. I have a couple different conditioners in here, and I kind of use them depending upon what the wig needs. Um, I don't use conditioner on synthetic wigs pretty much ever. I kind of realize that it's just an added step, and you're losing product, and since synthetic hair is plastic, it's not made of hair, it doesn't have a cuticle, so the conditioner doesn't do anything really to it. When it comes to synthetic wigs, I find that oil sheen is your best friend when it comes to trying to condition them and trying to make them shiny and pretty again get the oil sheen. This is just Tresemme Luxurious Moisture Conditioner, and um, like I said, I try to buy stuff that has high moisture content, stuff with oil, stuff like that for human hair, just because it needs that extra moisture and that extra bump for softness and shine. This is, this is what I just use as like my regular conditioner. Most of the time, I do use a deep conditioner. I have three different ones in there, so you guys will see that in a minute, but um, if I'm just washing something that's not in terrible shape or something that's brand new that still has that luxurious like factory silicone finish to it, you guys know what I'm talking about with that human hair crap, um, I use this just as a regular light conditioner. It's really great for that, and it doesn't weigh the hair down pretty much at all, so I use that also have the Shimmer Lights conditioner. I oftentimes will mix this with a deep conditioner because I find that standing alone, it doesn't provide enough moisture for dry, over-processed, blonde human hair wigs and pieces. So I often will cut it with the deep conditioner just so I can still keep the purple properties of it, but I can still get the deep moisturizing properties of whatever deep conditioner I choose. This is my favorite just generic deep conditioning mask and this is by Ion Moisture Solutions. This is the moisturizing treatment. You can get this at Sally Beauty Supply. Um, Ion is the Sally Beauty Supply brand. The products are amazing and I really love the way this smells and I, you know human hair in general wigs and pieces is dry. So I really like it for just generic deep conditioning purposes. So Ion Brilliance by Sally Beauty, amazing. It's the silicone mix deep conditioning treatment by Avanti. You can see right there it says Avanti. Um, I love this stuff. Especially if the wig is color treated, I find the silicone helps seal down the hair cuticle so that it's not going to really run as much as with a regular conditioner. And also, because it's mainly silicone, it's filling in all of the holes and the porosity in the hair with the silicone fiber, so you're going to get that shine back and you're going to get that soft luxuriousness back. And this works amazing under heat. I've originally found this by watching videos on how to bleach bath a wig. I personally have never done a bleach bath, but it's a really big thing. 
I really love the silicone mix. It's really deep conditioning. And like I said, I love using it with heat. Like it's amazing with heat. Um, I usually will just kind of put a plastic bag over it, pop it in the wig dryer for about 10 or 15 minutes, or if I'm in a rush and the wig doesn't have any metal stays in it, I'll put it in a plastic bag in the microwave. <laughs> kind of ghetto, but I'll put it in the microwave for like 45 seconds until it gets really hot and then I let it cool down and then I rinse it out. And this stuff's Last uh, conditioner I have here is the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. Again, um, this is from the same client that didn't like the scent of this stuff. Again, she didn't like the smell of this. I love the smell of it, so I don't know what her problem is. Um, but this is restorative. So this is more for if your wig is damaged, um, such as platinum blonde, bleach blondes, anything that has a custom pastel or fun manic panic uh, special effects type color to it. Restorative is great for that. The only thing that I find with restorative products is, is that they're pumped full of protein. And that's good because the protein helps fill in your hair and it makes it stronger. But at the same time, if you use this too much, it can actually make the hair more dry and more brittle because the protein is kind of like filling it up. So I use this very sparingly. I've actually only used this once, I think, since she gave it to me. But we did use this a lot at Dry Bar when I worked there. So I am familiar with the product and how to use it. Like I said, it's really great. It makes wigs very, very soft. I actually used it on this purple girl right here, which you guys can't really see because it's above me. Um, but I used it on her and it made a great, great difference to her. So I really do like this. But like I said, use it sparingly. You don't want your wig to get dry and nasty. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Sorry again for the delay. I work seven days a week for months at a time. I get like one or two days off every two or three months. It's very, ugh, I hate it. Um, but you know, gotta work for those insurance days and gotta get custom orders out in a timely fashion. So sometimes you have to work every day. Um, so there has been a delay in making the videos and I'm sorry, I do have, it's like six memory cards full of videos right now that I just figured if I was to make a new video, it'd be faster than me uploading all of those videos to my computer and looking to see what is salvageable because some of them I made in the fall. So some of them are six or six or so months old. So I don't quite remember what they're about, but they're there. So I'll go through soon and go see what's salvageable. Um, but I also wanted to start in like the beginning, like washing and everything and go washing, blocking, setting, whatever, kind of through the aspects of what exactly I do, just putting it in a, in a good order so that every week or every two weeks or every month, whenever I get to post them, they'll kind of go in sequence with each other each time. It'll kind of build and build and build and build. And then that way you can kind of go back and reference stuff I talked to about in the first video, second video, third video, etc. Thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to check out bobbypins.com where I have an amazing selection of beautiful synthetic lace front wigs. I also have styling accessories such as canvas blocks, wig stands, rollers, brushes, pins, all of that fun stuff to help you get your wig projects done right. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys very soon for another Wiggy Weavy Wednesday. Thanks.